Hi, I'm Teddy and you are watching Top Review. Subscribe to our channel to see more reviews in future. Whether you want it as the start of a brilliant day, a simple snack to warm you on a cold day, or just as a way of making a sandwich more exciting, toast is the best food you can get, and requires buying the best toaster to get the best combination of crispy outside and soft, textured inside. The 5 Best Toasters Dual It 4 Slot Light Toaster. We like very even browning consistent results extra wide slots we don't like pricey the dualit 4 slot light toaster combines classic dualit styling with modern controls it offers extra wide slots and buttons to defrost bread and toast bagels it also impresses through its performance with very even browning and intelligent controls which get more consistent results by reducing toasting time if the dualit is already hot the high gloss finish and curvaceous design feels timeless it would look equally good in a contemporary or retro styled kitchen improvements on older toaster designs include extra wide slots defrost and bagel buttons and a dial to control browning from one to eight and anywhere in between the cancel button is in the middle of the browning dial. Plus Dualit's peak and pop function lets you check on progress without canceling the toasting cycle. Cable lengths are a bugbear of mine. This one is good, not great, at 90 cm, but that's measured from the front right. From the back you get 62, 67 cm. There's cable management underneath to store any excess. One of the Dualit's most compelling features, with the fanciful and patented name of Perfect Toast technology, is built-in intelligence. Toasting time is based on the ambient temperature and the temperature of the toaster, so every slice is consistent. Slots are an impressive 36 mm wide and narrow to 15 mm to hold the bread. Crumpets need more cooking than toast and I found a browning level of 6 was perfect. You can lift the Dualit's lever at any time to take a peek at progress, without cancelling the browning cycle. After it's popped, lifting the lever raises your toastable item by 1 and half cm, which is just enough to grab a crumpet. Swan Fern 2 Slice Toaster. We like. Very affordable. Large slots. Even results. Recipe booklet. We don't like. Sides get hot. The Fern 2 Slice Toaster is part of Swan's range of home appliances and kitchenware designed in collaboration with TV presenter Fern Cotton. With a pastel, retro vibe, the toaster looks surprisingly smart for a toaster that's so cheap. It also doesn't disappoint on the performance front. The Swan Fern 2 Slice Toaster is available in four pastel shades, Lily, Pale Honey, Peacock and Truffle. We reviewed the truffle version, which would describe as an ever so slightly grey off-white. The toaster has an attractive, understated design with some retro accents. Encased in metal, it's oval, with stainless steel on top, and a metallic base, lever and dial. It has a solid build and is unlikely to tip over. The retro-looking browning control dial with numbers 1 to 6 is on the right of the toasting lever. You can also settle between those numbers, with halfway points marked on the dial and a subtle ticking sound signifying four increments between each half. This means you can really fine-tune your toast to the level of three and half if you like. However, in some of tests monitoring brownness levels and the time it took to reach them, the slight variations in increments didn't make that much of a difference. On the left side of the lever, there are three buttons, cancel, reheat and defrost. The cancel button is lit up whenever the toaster is in use, allowing you to locate it easily. The reheat and defrost buttons light up when pressed, showing which function is activated. On both sides, you'll find a small logo featuring Cotton's signature. The presence of this logo, as well as the cursive font used next to the buttons, are my only niggles with the design, as they make the overall impression a bit twee. Still, these are only noticeable when you're standing very close to the appliance. Morphe Richards Evoke 4 Slice Toaster. We like. Available in a variety of finishes. Solid build. Attractive. 
even toasting we don't like shiny metal sides attract fingerprints short cable the design of the morphe richards evoke four slice toaster feels modern while maintaining a slightly retro vibe it has a curved body that tapers slightly towards the top and a bottom that narrows into a base with four small feet Thanks to these feet, the Evoke is sturdier than the Accents toaster, and is less likely to tip forwards when you push down the two levers at the same time, unless you're deliberately bashing it. The Evoke 4 slice comes in red, white, cream or black. In addition, there are three models belonging to the Evoke Rose Gold collection, black, white or brushed metal with rose gold features. Three further special edition toasters are available in steel blue, bronze and platinum colors, but these come with a much heftier price. The body of the Evoke toaster we tested was made of pleasant, shiny red metal, with silver metal sides and a matte black plastic base. The buttons, levers and dials were made of metallic coated plastic, but are of a high enough quality to appear genuinely metallic at a glance. The toaster feels sufficiently high-end to fit any modern kitchen, although, admittedly, it may clash with more colorful kitchens. If you're after a mid-range quality toaster, the Morphe Richards Evoke is a good candidate. It's more solid on its feet than the Morphe Richards Accents toaster and comes in a similarly wide variety of finishes to suit your particular kitchen. The Evoke may lack the extra thrills, such as a bagel function and the take a peek option of the dual it 4 slot light, or the keep warm function and motorized lift of the KitchenAid Artisan. But the Evoke more than makes up for it with its more affordable price and sleek design. Dual it Studio 2 Slice Toaster. We like. Handsome design. Very sturdy. Fast toasting. Very even results. We don't like no special functions the studio 2 slice toaster is part of dual its range of home appliances promising stylish modern designs and innovative technology at an affordable price while the design is striking and the price slightly lower than the dual it 2 slice light toaster the studio toaster has been pared down to standard functions therefore lacking the wow factor nevertheless it's fast and produces consistent results the Studio Toaster is available in black with a polished trim, or in white and gray. We tested the striking all-black version, which has glossy plastic sides and a textured front with a dotted pattern. It features surprisingly heavy dual-it branding, with the manufacturer's logo stamped on three sides and in the stainless steel top. However, all the logos are embossed, meaning none of them really stand out unless you look at it closely. The lever sits in a groove, so the only part of the toaster that protrudes is the browning control dial, with clearly marked numbers from 1 to 9. There's a single set of controls that handles both slots, plus reheat and defrost options for dealing with frozen bread. The slots are big enough to cope with supermarket bread easily enough, with our test slices disappearing completely into the slots when placed horizontally, vertically, bread stuck out a bit at the top as this model doesn't have deep slots. With bread all the way in, results were excellent across the board. If you want something small and stylish, this is an excellent choice, but the dual it light 2 slice is only a touch more expensive and has a bagel function. Smeg 4 Slice 2 Slot Toaster. We like. Wide slots. Attractive design. Bagel function. We don't like. Some potential bread placement challenges. Pricey. The Smeg 02 is a 2 slot, 4 slice toaster, built using the company's signature retro look. It's essentially the bigger version of Smeg's 2 slot, 2 slice 01. Compared with the newer 4-slot, 4-slice 03 toaster, this features only one set of controls, there are only two slots, after all. However, these slots are capacious, allowing you to toast very long bread, such as large slices of sourdough or halved baguettes. The results here are great, and a specific bagel toasting program proves a great advantage. However, the slots tend to be a little snug for fitting in two slices of bread sideways, while placing them vertically means a section of bread will often remain sticking out. Toaster's design is essentially what would have been considered futuristic in the 50s. 
But that isn't a bad thing, although rocking a space age retro vibe, it also manages to look like a glossy appliance fit for any contemporary kitchen, whether it's minimalist or shabby chic. The thing to note about all of these finishes is that they're super shiny. While the deep drawn sheet steel of the toaster's body doesn't attract many fingerprints from dry hands, grease smudges will definitely leave their mark. However, it's easy enough to polish these off with a cloth. On the right side of the dial is the bagel function button, and on the left is the defrost button. Both light up when pressed. The bagel function is a rare option among toaster manufacturers, although not unique to Smeg. In addition to bagels, Smeg also suggests you can use it for halved flatbreads, muffins and baguettes. This Smeg is a gorgeous toaster with slots long enough for large sourdough slices and half baguettes, and that bagel function is useful. If you're happy to have a four-slice toaster with a single set of controls, this one offers great results. If this review was helpful, please leave a like on the video. You can also subscribe to our channel for more future reviews and ask any questions in comments.